This is Shirley Johnson with Sculpt Tools and I'd like to show you today another tutorial on various different techniques. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about armatures, about conditioning clay, and about some tools that I use. So I thought I'd start out by showing you some of the work that I've done with the tools that uh, I'll be showing you and with um, some variations on the armature techniques. I'm going to show you some of the materials that you can use to make armatures. There's many, many different ways to make a good solid armature depending on the type of sculpture that you want to create. You want to start with, much like a human skeleton would be, you want to start with some good vertebrae structures. And one of the things that you can use is some copper, soft copper, uh, this is not tubing, this is uh, soft copper material that you can get at hardware stores that's quite bendable but very, very strong. And I have it here in two different gauges. That's the thinner gauge. Let me show you the end of it here. Lens of the camera. And then a thicker gauge. You can see as compared to my fingers how much thicker one is than the other. And you can integrate those together using some smaller wire. You can also use coat hangers uh, and uh, various things that you might have handy. I have a little left over of some very soft regular armature wire that you can buy at uh, art supply stores and this comes it's an aluminum material and it's very flexible as you can see and that is what I use to create the uh, the main part of the armature that I'm going to show you in a moment but some of the things that you can use to attach those pieces of armature together are various types of uh, thinner wire. This one is, uh, let's see, 24 gauge. And I really like this kind of wire because it has, it comes with its own little cutter. Similar type of wire that is 22 gauge. And this particular kind is brass and it also has its own little cutter. You can also, if you happen to have a lot of pipe cleaner material handy, you can use that. Uh, to attach various parts together of your armature and that may not always be uh, the first go-to material but if you have that handy it can be used. Floral wire can be used because it has a, a cloth covering that the clay will stick to. It's very friendly material for clay. Some other gauges of wire that I sometimes use. This is a 30 gauge wire. The bigger the number, the smaller the wire. And this is a 10 gauge, kind of in between some of those those other types of wire that you see. And these were just materials that I had around for various different things. One of the things that I like to do, um, and, and I'm sure a lot of you have seen the foil used to bulk up different things. In this case it's the base of the head. But I've covered it with floral tape. You can get it in green but I use the white. It's uh, a little bit what they call cohesive. In other words it sticks to itself. Uh, but it's not tacky. And the nice part about this is you can use that to cover over the aluminum foil because aluminum foil um, clay tends to kind of slide off of it and kind of mush around. It doesn't necessarily stick real, real well to aluminum foil sometimes. So I, I have covered the armature for the head with uh, that floral tape. Um, and let me move on to show you what I've done with the armature. 
the first thing you want to do is either create or make a copy of an armature map. And what I've done here is I've found online some diagrams uh, that I could use as an armature map and then I went into my computer on PowerPoint and I, I drew these heavy lines that you see which is actually the plan for the armature that I'm about to show you. And uh, what this allows me to do is keep everything proportionate and to scale. And it also kind of gives me a plan of the musculature and how a uh, typical uh, body is laid out. Now, I've skipped ahead, uh, and again, um, I've used some of that soft armature wire that I showed you a moment ago, uh, the aluminum armature wire from the art store. And I took long lengths of it and braided it together, coiled it, uh, held on to one end of it with some pliers while I twisted it, and I used a continuous length as much as I possibly could because that makes the armature hold together. Uh, and then I uh, went over it with uh, Aves putty, modeling putty. And uh, this is just the way I chose to do this particular armature because I'm going to be posing this figure and I wanted to be able to bend the limbs and uh, make it poseable. So I bulked out kind of the bones of the, uh, the skeleton, so to speak, kind of the, the pelvis and hip bones and thigh bones. And then I also, I left the ankles flexible so that I could move the feet if I wanted to. The uh, uh, magic sculpt is another option that is very very useful for bulking up armatures like this because it hardens up very very hard. Uh, the two are, are quite similar and I'm afraid I haven't used magic sculpt so I can't tell you how they compare. But so far I really like the Aves uh, and uh, both of them come in various different colors. So as you can see here, what I've done is I've bulked out the basic uh, elements of the body. But before I did that, as I was putting the wire together, I used my armature map to get my proportions correct. And then what I did is I used a marking pen to mark where the joints are. As you can see, the wrist, elbow, shoulders, the hips, the knees, the ankles, so that then when I when I put the putty on here, I didn't cover over those joints that I wanted to be bendable later on. And then I'm going to turn this so that you can see. I used some um, six-sided uh, brass tubing for the neck, and I'm afraid I might have shot myself in the foot the, a little bit on this. This actually should be seated down much deeper into the torso uh, and I'm probably going to have to trim this off because eventually what's going to happen is this head is going to be filled out, bulked out, and then it's going to be mounted thusly on here and as you can see that's not quite proportionate. Uh, I don't know whether you can see this. Let me turn this to the side a little bit. Uh, the chin is, oh, is, is going to get in the way. So this, the neck's a little bit too long. So the neck probably should have been to about here. It's maybe a quarter of an inch, a little bit too long. And then the, the head will sit right. So I'll probably be shortening that up a little bit later. So that is how I'm going to start this little armature and the, the nice part about this is it's posable and um, I can hang it from something or I can lean it against something or use some sort of a apparatus as a stand. Uh, 
screen there uh, while I'm making the, the sculpture. And it gives me one of the best parts about bulking it out like this with, with some of these uh, uh, sculpting putties is it gives you a good firm foundation to hold on to uh, while you're putting the, the clay on. And the clay will stick to this material quite easily. Uh, and then you can form over it and, uh, and then leave some of the, the joints open until you've got, it, got the final pose done. So that's some of the material about uh, armatures. And as I go along, when I'm adding the clay onto this, I'll continuously compare my sculpture to my little armature map, which also has the musculature shown on here, so that my proportions stay pretty close to a uh, typical human. <laughs> 